Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another assembly. It's our Tuesday assembly, isn't it? Maybe you're watching at home or maybe you're watching at school. I've been thinking a little bit more about our pirates topic. I wonder if you drew a treasure chest last week. There was an art hub, wasn't there, about parallel lines and trying to get that box shape um, of the chest. Or maybe you've made a treasure chest out of Lego or blocks at home. If you haven't done that yet, it's a nice little challenge to do linked into our pirates topic. I wonder what you think of when you see a treasure chest. It reminds me of pieces of eight. That's what pirates called the treasure, wasn't it? Pieces of eight and maybe gold and silver coins and precious jewels. And then the pirates, maybe with a big spade, digging a hole, burying that treasure to keep it safe from the other pirates. We imagine that there's something really precious inside the chest. Did you know that Jesus once told a story about treasure and wanting it so much that you rebury it and go and sell everything you have? This is what he said. It's in the book of Matthew in the Bible. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and then hid And then, in his joy, he went and sold all he could so that he could buy the field with the treasure in. So finding the treasure, putting it back into the ground again so no one else can see it, going off and selling everything you have to get the money to buy the field because you really want that treasure. It shows how precious it must have been. Now you know that when Jesus was on earth, he told lots of stories to help people understand more about God and the way that the world should be. In this story, he talked about God's kingdom. The people that Jesus met expected him to overthrow the rulers in the country. They thought Jesus would do this by force to become the king. But Jesus explained to them, God's kingdom isn't like that. He told stories to help people understand that when they live life the way God wanted, they were bringing God's kingdom to earth. They didn't need to fight and get rid of the rulers in their country. They needed to live in a certain way. So when Jesus talked about the treasure in the field in this story, perhaps in a treasure chest, like the ones that you've drawn or made, he wanted people to understand that some things are even more precious than gold or silver or jewellery or money. They are the treasures that bring God's kingdom to earth. And these treasures are things We can't really see things that make people feel loved and valued. Can you help me think about what some of those treasures might be? Hmm. I wonder what you're thinking of. Perhaps love, peace, friendship or kindness. Can you imagine what it would be like to live in a world surrounded by those kinds of wonderful treasures? And actually, this message wasn't just for people living in Jesus' time. It's a message for us as well. I wonder if you can think of a way to share those treasures 
with people around us. Love, peace, friendship, kindness. I'm going to tell you a story now and I'm going to move the camera so you can just see the pictures in the book. I'll read the story and then we'll have our prayer. Lost and Found by Oliver Jeffers Once there was a boy and one day he found a penguin. boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad and the boy thought it must be lost. So the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. He checked the lost and found office, but nobody was missing a penguin. He asked the birds if they knew where the penguin came from. But they ignored him. Some birds are like that. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help his friend, but he didn't know how. where penguins come from. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from Antarctica and the South Pole. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbour and found a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. So together, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. The boy took out his rowing boat and they tested it for size and strength and they packed everything they would need. And together, they pushed the rowing boat out to sea. They rode south for many days and nights with the boy telling stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything the boy said. They floated through good weather and bad when the waves were as big as mountains. Until they came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. And suddenly it looked sad again as the boy helped it out of the boat. boy said goodbye 
and floated away. But as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. It felt strange to be on his own. And the more he thought, the more he realised he was making a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost. He was lonely. Quickly, he turned the boat around and headed to the South Pole as fast as he could. At last he reached the pole again, but where was the penguin? He searched and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. Sadly, the boy set off for home. There was no point telling stories because there was no one to listen except the wind and the waves. But then, the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see the penguin. And together, they travelled home, singing and telling stories all the way. The end. Well done for listening to that story. I wonder what treasure you think was shown there. I'm going to light a candle now. And we're just going to say a prayer as we think a little bit just before we end about treasures. Just make yourself really quiet and still. I'll hold this a little bit closer, I think. When Jesus taught his followers to pray, he told them to say, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. We can all do things to change our world, to make it a better place. And we can also pray that God will change the world so it becomes the place he wants it to be. Dear God, today we've been thinking about the things we treasure, love, peace, friendship, kindness, and how we can help to share them in our community to change the world for the better. Help us to notice the treasures you see so we can enjoy these precious jewels and share them with others. Amen. I'd love to hear any stories you have about those treasures. I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.